Hi, my name is Peter Bruninger, and your name is? I'm Warren Jarrett with Music First Audio. Hi, Warren, how are you? Uh, very good. I'm having a good time here at the show. We've seen Music First Audio at a number of audio shows over the past several years. Uh, they have a very a clean sounding product. It lets the music flow through. Well, thank you, yeah. So this is our preamplifier, the baby reference that we're displaying here. I'm demonstrating it with long interconnect cables to prove that uh, it's a transformer based preamp. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really, it can use 10 meter interconnects with no problems, input or output. Okay. Um, this is our moving coil step up device that I'm using to step up a old Denon 103D into an old Conrad Johnson phono stage. That's a Conrad Johnson motif. This is a brand new turntable, the Triangle Arts, that comes with a reggaeton arm, although my reggaeton arm was modified in England by Audio Origami. Well, I know the phono stage very well. I have two of them. Yeah. And that's a wonderful phono stage. It gives you the ability to, the, what I have, it, it lets you have three inputs, and yes, this is the same model. Yep. One, two, three and three. Three inputs over here. Yep. Yep. And there's about 15 steps of input impedance there. Mm -hmm. Plus, our step-up device has three choices of step-up ratios, and for each of those, eight input impedance changes. So I have got a gigantic combination. Yeah, range to do. Yeah, yeah. I find that you probably want to use your step-up impedance to, uh, switches over the motifs. The motifs don't seem to be as accurate as if you had an outboard, uh, from my from my experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I see a triangle art. Uh, Simply it's turntable symphony, here. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice new turntable from Tom Vu. That's right. We've got some classic audio equipment here. And which model uh, we have here is... This is an Otari. It's called an MX5050 Mark II. Yeah, I have one of these, but it's uh, all in one unit. It stands up. It's not a studio-based unit that's four channels. So I know the deck pretty well. It's got a very clean sound to it. Well, this one has completely been gone through by an Atari technician recently, including uh, all new heads but it's absolutely factory stock. People are using outboard uh, step-ups for their tape decks, and I don't know, oh, I, I, think, I think stock is just as good sometimes. I think you get a very clean sound off of stock. Sometimes the, the outboards are gonna give you a, a lot of these tube output stages. A little bit more warmth, perhaps at the expense of the frequency extremes, perhaps not. Well, I plan to find out. This one actually comes with a separate preamp. There's an umbilical cord between the transport and the preamp. Okay. So I can easily try a different preamp if I want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't kinda, know if I'll do that or not, but maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of it. jealous over that one. That's really sweet. <laughs> and we have audio note speakers here. These are audio note A and E speakers. They're the Lexus model. And they're very high efficiency. They're called the Lexus HE. So I can use this uh, Roger Majeski RM10 amplifier with it. Yeah, that's using uh, EL84, EL84 amplifier based amplifier. That's uh, not a current model either, that's just something I brought from home. No, that's a, but it, I tell you, any EL84 based amplifier uh, can sound better than uh, an EL, in my opinion, than an EL34. I think the EL84 tube is perhaps the best audio tube out there. They just don't put out a lot of power. When you run them in push-pull and you get 18 watts per channel out of them, oh, sonic heaven. I have, uh, uh, I'd love to use a, an EL84 based vintage uh, amplifier called a Heath Kit uh, yeah. AA151. Yeah, yeah, it's killer. Yeah. It's a killer amplifier. Yeah. It'll shame other it's amplifiers. A giant it is a giant killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a great system you have put together here, Robert. Well, let's bring those old Heath kits over here instead of this slightly old Marjorie Majeski amp. Okay, well, let's put that on the to do <laughs> list and let's check that box soon, okay? Okay, San Francisco show. Okay. Expect to see you there. Coming up soon. Thank you very much, Warren from Music First Audio. All right, nice to see you. Thank you for coming in.